We were going to do a self-storage facility. I had a piece of property my family has in Sunnyvale, and we couldn't rent out the middle of it. We came up with self-storage and liked the way the numbers worked. Well, the next thing that happened is uh, people next door decided they needed our space, so we sold it. I liked the model. I started looking around. I found boat and trailer storage. RV storage. I like that better. And looking further, someone had started a class of car storage facilities outside of London, and I thought that was even better. We found this place, but I couldn't come up with the name. And I didn't want classic car storage, exotic car storage. I tried Italian names to go with it for storage, or, you know, nothing came up. So I remembered in the self-storage, wine storage we came up with the name of Otto Vino. Next thing that happens, we sign the lease, we get an architect. Well, then the local Ferrari dealer gets a hold of me and says, Buff, I want to introduce you to Steve. He wants to do a winery in cars. So we get together and he introduces me to the founder of Woodside Vineyards, Bob Mullen. Bob started Woodside Vineyards in 1963 the 120th winery in California. So we're one of the old ones. So I'm going to lease the space to Bob. Now, you know, you see what you get. Now, the one problem that we had is I had done all the negotiations on the lease with Bob. And so he flies up. We're having a glass of wine and lunch in the vineyard in uh, Woodside at the old winery site. We lay out all the terms, which Bob and I had basically agreed to before. And he says, no, that's not going to work. And just kind of look at him. I said, what are you talking about? And he said, the only thing that's going to work is you buy me. And I said, you're crazy. I'm not going to buy a winery. Well, he said, I'm 82 years old. I don't have any heirs. And I'll make it work. Well, Bob's a better salesman than I am because I didn't lease him the space. We bought the winery. I would have been a lot better off leasing him the space. But anyhow, eventually it'll come around. A lot of people's identity are in the cars. Now, I was talking to one of the guest speakers, and he just zeroed in on number two over there, the little MG midget, because it reminded him back at home that they used to race those cars. And that's what people have. They come in, they look at the Austin Healy. Oh, my sister's boyfriend had one. And there's just a lot of good, warm feelings. And the people that own the cars, you know, the various reasons are fantastic. I'll tell you one quick story. I uh, have a break. I retrieve a message. And some lady called, and she was looking for a place to put, you know, her car. So, okay, good. I phone her back. And she asked me about the facility. I tell her the security, the, everything that we do. She goes, fantastic. You know, I, I'm interested. She goes, I'm homeless. I need a place for my car. And I'm going, oh, great. You know, a 76 Honda or something with life possessions. No, she had just sold her home. She was going to travel, and there's the car. So there's different stories for everyone here, kind of fun stories. If you catch me, we'll walk around and I'll tell you some.